I love Machine because of the fast workflow. And one of the best things you can do is set up user groups. So anytime I customize a kit, however I like it, so I want to get in, start producing, start sequencing right away, I can do that. So we'll show you how to actually create user groups of your favorite Easy Drummer library. What I really love about setting it up this way is that I can actually create a user group for any Easy Drummer kit I want. So maybe I want to switch to metal. Maybe I want to do the levy kit. I can actually set it up once, load a new group, and install that. The other benefit this has is that you can still apply external effects or machine effects at the master level. So here you can see I added a little bit more reverb, added some EQ, a little transient master, and a little more delay onto my custom Levy Breaks kit. So any machine effects you load, or any third-party effects, because you can also load third-party VSTs, maybe you want to use your favorite compressor, maybe you want to use uh, your favorite EQ from whatever company, etc. And so I usually go ahead and set these up for every kit I use, and you can see how fast it loads up. Set it up once, never have to think about it again. So as I was mentioning, one distinct advantage of having this setup here with Easy Drummer loaded into one machine group where all the sounds are triggering that instance is that we can record inside of Machine's pattern editor, which is very familiar to any machine user. So this way we can easily sequence. You already see one advantage of using Easy Drummer is that you can set different hi-hat articulations so it sounds more realistic right off the bat, rather than trying to play one single hi-hat sample and make it sound realistic like a human would play. And from here we can easily just kind of duplicate our patterns, double our patterns, duplicate new versions, overdub on top. And so on and so forth. Another way of working with Easy Drummer inside Machine is we'll load up a new group and we'll mute group A. Let's just load in a version of Easy Drummer here. And we can use the power of Easy Drummer by using the multitude of MIDI files that come with it. So for instance, let's load up the Reggae expansion and let's look at all the different MIDI files. So we'll come in here, we'll look at the beats, and let's take my tempo up. Let's make it a little more up-tempo. So I really like this groove, and I actually want to start building this into a machine project. One way of working is I can start the song creator and take a pattern I like, and it will give me more MIDI files that can actually go along to start building my song. So once I find the patterns, I can actually just start dragging and dropping these into Machine. The only thing we have to do is make sure we put this in keyboard mode, which I can access from the Machine Controller, or I can access in the software right here. And now I can drag and drop any MIDI file right into the pattern. Alternatively, what's very nice is that my mixer section can be controlled from machine natively. So if I want to do a delay throw, all the controls are already mapped out. So that's just my intro. We can come to scene two now and go back to song creator and find a verse. And we'll just drag it in. Scene three. find a chorus, so on and so forth. So right away, I've created a whole entire machine arrangement 
based off a couple patterns. So one of the reasons I like sequencing like this is that I might not be the strongest dub reggae drum programmer. So it's very nice to be able to come in and grab a specific MIDI file created by a human on an electronic drum kit and then be able to mix that in to my machine sequences however I deem. Maybe I want to delete the kick and the snare, just use the isolate the hi-hat and then use other drums from other libraries to create a sequence drum part. 